Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. Today we joined the Naughty Boys again in Farmerton to see what they've been up to. In the previous episode we got ourselves two new colonists. We got Cervantes and Haku. Uh, two men, I believe, yes. Well that's going to change right now because we need some new colonist names. Let us go ahead and change Haku here, who is gay and abrasive, <laughs> to, uh, to change the name. There we go, change his nickname to Moomba. There we go, that's after our good friend Nick, who's in so many playthroughs with me. And then of course, Tanner Cervantes here, despite being a man, shall be renamed... Oh, oh, Nikita. Yes, for she has commented on one of the videos and thus earned her place in the playthrough. If you'd like to see your name in game, simply comment on this video below or on any of the previous ones and I will add you in as soon as possible. Now, speaking of as soon as possible, I'm actually going away on holiday uh, this week, the week that you'll be watching this. In fact, I'm going away tomorrow for you guys and that means that I need to do some bulk recording. So I'm going to be recording this um, the next five episodes, I think, today, as well as a whole bunch of uh, another playthrough, haha, <laughs> surprise, which will be coming out tomorrow for you guys. And uh, yeah, they won't be alternating, RimWorld is a daily series, the other series will probably be every second day though, a bit like Kingdoms and Castles was. Uh, that said, I think we can start speeding through the night because I've pretty much covered all bases here. Now let's have a look. Uh, we got some Pinoxisiline. Uh oh, and a heat wave has begun. Now that is a bit of a problem. Okay, so heat waves are kind of deadly in RimWorld because they will um, slowly cause your colonists to get heat stroke uh, right here under their health and they will pass out and eventually die, so you need to cool their rooms. So we can do that pretty easily here, thankfully, by the inclusion of a couple of vents over there and then we'll put coolers. Uh, which way am I going to expand this? I can't go up, so I'm going to put coolers one there and I'll probably put another cooler in the prisoner room facing this mud, because we can't build on it anyway. Yeah, and then that will cool these other rooms. It's sufficiently enough. You can see what your colonists' tolerable temperatures are by pressing the information button here. Maximum comfortable temperature, 32 degrees. Maximum comfortable temperature, minimum rather, is negative 14. So if this temperature goes above 32, and it very likely will, then they will either pass out or just... Uh, or they'll eventually get heat stroke, rather, which will cause them to ultimately pass out and then ultimately die. So you don't want that for obvious reasons. Now we don't have a lot of steel and we're going to need a lot of steel to do this. So I need to set up some mining orders very quickly. Uh, very, very quickly, in fact. And Nikita will go off and do just that, I believe. Yes, she will. Thank you, Nikita. Um, growing is not that much of a priority right now, guys. I'm actually going to go ahead and take you off it, all of you. I will reset those priorities now. There's one, one and two, right? So yeah. Let's just get everybody who can mine on mining, including the guys who can't. Ooh, Jesus. Okay, who are my builders and what are they doing at present? Matty B is current. Okay, we got one vent in. Fantastic. There we go. That cooler is the most important part. As long as there's at least one cooler, they'll be able to just go and stand in there and get, you know, sort of be in a safe temperature. Oh, God. It's freezing. How's your health doing? You probably got some. No, not. No heat stroke yet, but it's coming. They'll definitely be yeah, very hot, though, and that makes them bloody upset. That's another thing, of course, is that, uh, you know, the mood debuff isn't great. Something just got torn to death. Right. Oh, oh, Arctic Wolf did some... Uh, he fed himself. Good on you, mate. Good on you. Okay, how are our packers doing? We've got female packers, male packers. Wool is coming in. Very nice. Oh, we've got a whole lot of it. Now, that's actually important. We might be able to exploit that because alpaca wool... Uh, not only makes fantastic cowboy hats, can we make that out of alpaca wool? Yes, we can. It also makes really fantastic dusters. And these are anti-heat devices, essentially. <laughs> um, they protect you from it. We only need six hats. There we go. Raynaud, why are you naked? Are you a nudist? Yes, you are. Okay, that's fine. That's all good, then. There should be a spare jacket. No, I guess someone's already put Raynaud's jacket on. Must have been Mo. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we have dromedaries are walking through. Those are camels. Hello, camels. Well, camels with one hump, right? I, I, I can't remember the distinction. Distance cousin of the horse can go weeks without water. Well, they're, they're definitely some kind of desert beast. Look at them go. I don't think we're going to mess them. Oh, we have geothermal power. That is also going to help us a lot very soon. We'll put that in here. But first things first, we've got to deal with this temperature. 
Okay, so this is attempting to keep this room at a cool 21 degrees Celsius, and it has achieved just that. Uh, no one is particularly bothered just yet by the temperature. Okay, good. We have both of our coolers in. Uh, those will now be turned into vents, and uh, the point is, the majority of the hard work is done. Coolers are in, and so now we just need to get the vents in, so these people won't at least sleep in the heat. Very nice. And this was, of course, needed to be done. And uh, when winter comes, we can just turn these off. And once the heat wave ends, once the heat wave ends, rather, we can just turn these off, and it, you know, it'll be like nothing ever happened. Oh, also, I see we have some steel right here. Right here. I suppose anybody watching this has probably been screaming that at the screen. But yeah, we can we can go ahead and mine that. So let's let's not cut through our only defense in this region uh, just yet. We we will eventually have to do that. But for now, Mo, are you without a bedroom? Oh, of course, of course. They opened this up, and that's now become a prisoner room because it shares. Because technically, the game sees that as the same room because there's no wall between them. So let's get that built, turn that back to a normal bed, and Mo can go and live, you know, where he belongs. Okay, that is no longer that. In fact, you know what, while you're at it, just do this one, because it's going to freak out Baymax as well. And I just want to get it done while I remember to. Okay, so I believe in the previous episode we had um, a marriage, didn't we? Yes, uh, Reynards, where are they? Reynards and Maddie B actually sealed the deal. Yes, they did. Congratulations to them both, I say. Okay, let's go ahead, Mo. you have a bedroom again. Uh, let's just assign you here in case you forget. There we go. Alright, so cooling for the base is set up. And now, as you can see, it's not perfect. This is still 26 degrees versus the 21 degrees. 20, well, fluctuating quite a lot in here. We probably need two coolers to do this entire space. But for now, that will be sufficient. Let's also go ahead and... Do we have the wood for this? 96 wood. No, we don't. I wanted to throw in floors. Let's put it down, and then we'll just chop some trees. We could probably go ahead and chop the trees outside of our range here, so that uh, if the baddies come in, they've got no cover. Let's also go ahead and de destroy this and this, just to make it a bit harder for them to take cover when fighting us, including, I think, that one can go as well. Just nothing for them to hide behind then, you know? Okay, nice. That's getting done. Beautiful. Does that have a roof over it? No, it didn't. Good. Uh, and then we've got a chunk that's going to need to move, because that's still cover. Uh, these are all going to get hauled. Okay, cool. The base is functional. The real point here, of course... Oh, what is a what is without clothes? What is your... Comfortable? 32. And what is a colonist with all the kit we have currently? 32. So the gear they've got doesn't do much? Maximum comfortable temperature? That's Okay, insulates against cold. The pants, also cold. And the jacket insulates against cold. Okay, so we have no heat protection, and we're not in a particularly cold biome, so we are going to want to get this sorted pretty soon. Uh, you're doing chunks. I'm actually going to let that happen, because we really do need some building resources. Building materials, rather. Okay, so our protected stockpile, still going fine. It's a bit far from our crafting room. Uh, that's not ideal, but it's okay. Uh, we have probably quite a lot of steel lying around here, hey? 220? That's not that much. Huh. Mo doesn't do hauling. Mo, what are you, what are you actually... What are you for? Mo, you're a researcher. Okay, well, let's get some more research going. Let's see, we haven't got that. Right, we got the geothermal. Okay, we can focus on that this episode. That would be really cool to get. Um, okay, we're going to want to get next, I'm thinking... Uh, we don't need to worry about hydroponics. We can grow just fine. Uh, bedrolls would be nice if we want to go on excursions, but we're not there just yet. Uh, gunsmithing. Yeah, let's get gunsmithing. And then we should, hopefully, soon, be able to smith guns. And that'll be great. We can also throw down a multi-analyzer. Not that we can build it yet, just it's nice to have it there. And then the big boys, the fire foam poppers. So we're going to put one in this room. We're going to put a fire foam popper probably in our production room as well. I just wanted to cover the entire area. There we go. Uh, no, None in the bedrooms, not too important. And we're definitely putting one inside of our uh, refrigerator. Now, what fire foam poppers do is um, if they catch fire themselves, they will explode and spray fire dousing foam all over the damn place. However, however, it only works if they actually catch fire. So you can manually trigger them to detonate. And it's nice to have them in your sort of valuable rooms because if something goes wrong, you can just get someone to run in there very quickly, smack a button, and the fire will be put out before not anything or not too many things are destroyed. Very useful to have. So go ahead and get rid of that so there's no more cover there. 
Oh, no, Nikita got food poisoning. Oh, you poor child. You're relaxing socially at present? Okay. You don't really need the joy, but we'll let it happen. We also have a lot more people, so let's get a better table in here. Um, we also have a lot of wood now. Uh, always good to have a lot of wood. And let's go ahead, you know what, since we've got the wood for it, let's go ahead and get the nicer dining chairs. Beautiful. And we can actually, that's got its own table, so we can just go ahead and... Actually, no, we can use these stools again. Let's just reinstall them uh, right up here. In fact, how about... I think it might be time to do the old stool hustle for the electric stuff. Actually, you know what? You know what? I'll explain that when I actually get to it. We also don't need two lights in here, so... Uh, we're just going to uninstall that one for now. Keep it stashed on the side. Uh, yeah, there is a bit of a sort of, a, I guess, a hack you can do with the electric stove to really optimize your efficiency with regards to uh, production. But it only really works if you have someone who is a completely dedicated hauler. I will do that later in the playthrough, but for now, this will suffice. Okay, so we have 100 granite blocks. How much do you take? Let's get a granite table. I think that'll look quite nice, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I know we need that technically to build walls so we don't get killed by our enemies, but blah, blah, blah. You know what? I think a nice snazzy table is more our speed. Also, all these blocks are finally getting hauled. That's great. Why are you not planting corn? Oh, because I took everybody off growing. Right. Let's put them back on. Doop, doop. There we go. Okay, good. That was a bad move because <laughs> that almost ended badly for us. All right, we have... Quite a lot of hops, don't we? Um, are you holding it inside? Yes, you are. Oh no, a wild boar has lost its head. Okay, let us help it lose its head even further. Nikita, okay, let's also rearm our colonists. Nikita, you're a good melee person, but you only have that wooden club. That's a bit shit. Can we perhaps make you a knife? Not yet. Okay, I guess that goes under smithing. Uh, and you are a decent shot, so Maddie B, let's get you outside and uh, hopefully... Where's Nikita? You're going to need some backup for this one. Don't don't fight it. Shoot it. You have a gun. There we go. Okay. Uh, you should know, by the way, if you are not... If you want you to the game, that um, if your colonists are engaged in melee combat, even if they are equipped with a ranged weapon, they will actually use their hands to fight regardless. Uh, for some reason, it's prioritized. I'm not sure why. Uh, there is a mod called Simple Sidearms, which adds the ability to carry both a ranged and a melee weapon, and, you know, multiple weapons of various types on your colonist person, provided they have the carrying capacity for it. Uh, and that lets you sort of, you know, switch between them really frequently. Okay, we've got gunsmithing research, which is awesome. We can craft simple guns like manually operated guns like revolvers, pump shotguns, bolt action rifles, and incendiary launchers. Okay, I believe the sniper rifle is bolt action rifle where is baymax you've got is that a bolt action rifle okay now bolt action rifles are actually pretty good weapons they're not sniper rifles right but they do have very impressive range and they do adequate damage but for context a sniper rifle has a range i think of 50 i think and a damage of 40 so you can take off a leg with a single shot essentially because well, for example, an arm only has 30 health, so if you hit it once with a sniper rifle doing 40 damage, it will take off that entire limb. Uh, same goes for legs, which have 30 health. Wait, no, I forgot you had a peg leg. So you're running around naked with a piece of wood sticking out from underneath you. Haha, <laughs> that's a pun that I'm not going to make. Haha, <laughs> didn't make it. Take that, monetization. <laughs> not that I can monetize my videos yet anyway. God, uh. Apparently you need, what's it, 100,000... No, it's 10,000 viewing hours over 12 months and 1,000 subscribers, which doesn't seem that unattainable. I mean, we're 10% of the way there for the subscribers, and we're about actually 50% of the way there for the watch time. So it's, you know, it's doable. I think this channel might be monetizable by next year if it's still going. <laughs> Although I see no reason why not to. It's a lot of fun. Okay, granite chunks, they're getting moved. We're going to designate them for hauling anyway. Um, not that it's going to make a difference, actually, because they're in the wrong stockpile, so they'll get hauled regardless. Hauled, eh, regardless. Let's go ahead. We're actually going to leave these ones here, because they provide some cover when fighting enemies from this flank. And let's go ahead. What we can do, we only have 25 granite blocks. Ugh. What is everyone doing? I think it's the growing that's keeping us so busy. Yeah, it is. Oh, we can also tear down this roof now, or we could turn this into another room. Let's do that. 
Let's turn this into another building of its own accord. I don't know what we're going to use this for yet, but it's always nice to have a bit of space. We'll put the door there. Off you go. Okay, very nice. Uh, it might actually be worth putting our table in there because they get a buff from having a specific dining room. Hmm. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so you are cooking again. You go until you have 20, right? Yeah. That's fine. It might actually be worth, since we're doing that with vegetarian. Can you cook lavish meals yet? Nope. Cooking required eight. Okay, we can't get... No, no, I need fine meals. Six. What are you? What are you, Mo? You are cooking three. Okay, you're getting there slowly. That's fine. Uh, what we can do um, to improve the speed of things... Can we, can we please, can someone please uninstall this damn thing? Maddie B, you're almost done there with this. How much work is there? 50, 30, 20, 10, done. Okay, good. He's doing that. Can you uninstall that lamp, please? Thank you. What we're going to do, I'm going to show you guys a little, a little trick here, is build some more stools real quick. Okay, he should come and do that at once. Lovely. Oh, no, he's doing the walls first. That's fine, too. Where are you going, bud? 46 wood. Nice. Okay, we're going to let him get this done. So, I can set up the stockpile so long. So, what you want to do, right, is the game's actually quite clever with this. It models, um, almost in a sense, the height of the items. So, if an item for crafting is placed on a stool next to where your colonist is standing, then it's essentially like it's right at hip height, so he doesn't have to bend down to get it, which means that it uh, improves, it, they don't have to walk onto the tile where the item is to pick it up, they can just pick it up immediately. Um, so what we're going to do is set up a little something that looks like this. Three separate stockpiles with a single uh, stool over there, two stools over here, and no stools at the back. Okay, and the reason for this is because this, uh, let's go underneath it, there we go, storage. We're going to say we want nothing here except... Do -do 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 uh, we want nothing here except meat. Okay, so all the meat will get stashed in. Now, this isn't refrigerated, obviously, so that will eventually spoil. And we're not using it right now, so I'm going to set that priority to low. And then what we're going to want over here is clear all except for vegetarian, which means all the plant matter we have, like the uh, all the edible plant matter, rather like the corn and the rice and things. That's going to go here. So he's going to essentially just quickly pick up and drop those things. Then what we're going to want to do is clear all here and say this is only for meals and it's a very low priority stockpile also this needs to be set higher i'm gonna put that on preferred this is critical right yeah so we're actually gonna to have to set this to let's do it this way let's say this is critical and this is important which means that they will rather place the, the the sort of vegetables here than have them there and this should result in yeah, a bunch of food being stashed right there and then let's get mo cooking again um where's mo there he is Okay, so now Baymax is standing there, and as you can see, she no longer has to go and get resources. She can literally just stand there, and chuk, he's just pulling it from there immediately. Nice and easy. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, a little hack there. Okay, so that will significantly improve our uh, meal production. And as you can see, they just drops it right down, and look how fast he's churning the meals out now. But you also see why I said this only really works if you have a dedicated hauler, because otherwise the meals just sit there. Fantastic. Okay, that got done pretty quickly. And this this spoils in like four seasons, so I'm not too worried about keeping it out there. Okay, potatoes being hauled in. Potatoes do spawn, spoil a little faster, so it's better to, you know, burn through your corn early on. But I'm not going to micromanage that too hard. Oh god. That's bad. That's a bit of a problem. That's a bit of a problem, because if that fire spreads down here, it is going to wipe out this. So we need to make a fire break very, very quickly. Uh, how much steel do we have in this colony in total? Is that is that it? Is that really it? We have 107 steel? Shit. Okay, floors. Can we do... Can we do a... From this point, can we do a three-wide steel road? We can. Okay, and the reason for this will become apparent. We're essentially building a fire break. Let's go that far. Three is kind of, it's very difficult for fire to spread across that. But everybody's asleep, of course they are. Let's see if we can get this done before that fire spreads. What is burning to death? Something is Oh, the tortoise! Oh, no! Oh, that's a rough one, mate. Oh, 
Oh, his eye literally burnt out. That is rough. Okay, so this is technically home zone. Okay, we don't need home zone here. We do need home zone up to here. In fact, let's go ahead and clear it. So now, the reason I'm changing the home zone is colonists will only find fires if they are designated within your home zone. As in, you know, that it basically tells them they should care about it. Like, it's not just a wildfire that doesn't affect them. So also just tidy up our home area so that all of the stuff is in there. Nice, and we can, you know what, we can, we can bridge this to there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, the rain put out the fire, so this is no longer necessary. That's good. That's good news for us. Okay, but we do need to install a solid brick wall there as soon as possible. Okay, what is everyone doing? Nikita, okay, these guys are going to clean things around there. Is there really nothing else to do? You could make granite blocks. What are you doing? Okay, you're cleaning. Moomba is hauling. That's fine. That's what they're for. Baymax, you're on cleaning priority one. I don't need you on cleaning priority one anymore. If anything, I need you on crafting priority two so that you'll do that while you've got nothing else to do. In fact, all these people that have essentially no skill can go on crafting party too, so they'll do this. Now, tailoring. Maddie B, I'm actually going to take you off the crafting and put you on tailoring. Um, yeah, I need to get those clothes made. Okay, but he's going to do all his building first. He's got lots to do. So we're going to let him do that. Uh, fire foam poppers are going up. That's fantastic. Is this one in? It is. Lovely. And he's tailoring. Okay, cowboy hats should come our way pretty soon. Lovely. And it's also, you know what, we got the wood for it. Let's So let's get in yet another wood floor right down here. Just so this room's a bit more pleasant to be in. Lovely. Uh, let's set this up to just drop those bricks on the floor. We don't really need them taken to the stockpile. Because um, that is quite a far ways away. In fact, what we can do is we can set up just right behind her, essentially right there. Click on the stockpile. There we go. We're going to set up a very low priority stockpile for doo -doo 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 stone blocks. Now, where's that under? It's probably under raw resources, yeah? Stone blocks. Even though we do manufacture them, for some reason, it's under raw resources. But whatever. Who are we to judge? Okay, research is done on blowback operation. Yeah, get those more, more efficient guns, like sniper rifles and things. Okay, cool. Now, what the multi-analyzer does is give a 10% research speed boost, because right now it's at 98, so that would go up to 108%, which would be nice. Uh, that's affected by the room's cleanliness, which, as I, far as I understand, uh, we need to improve. Where's it dirty? Probably some dirt right there by the door. Yeah, there is. You can see it just there. And Nikita's coming to clean it. So now that should have gone up to 99%. Oh, there's dirt somewhere again. Yeah, the point is you're never going to get it perfect, but those 1% or 2% losses aren't that important. Okie dokes. Now, we are pretty fine for power still, surprisingly. Uh, I really thought that would have been more of an issue. But I don't think we should get complacent. What we need to do, actually, is mine out some of the steel right there. And we can also get those components that are sitting right there. Did we hold these ones in? We did. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Everybody's making love. They're hanging out. It's all going great. Uh, our walls are somewhat depleted as all this stuff is up here. So let's get the sandstone moved down there. Uh, we don't need it around us. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, let's get those impromptu walls built. Or at least, you know, hobbled together. At the very least. Uh, let's get that stuff moved. Get that moved. Some more sandstone chunks up here. We're going to get a lot of sandstone, obviously, when we start digging. But for now, I think we're just going to bulk up that wall using what's lying around. Just because it's nearby. There's some more right there. Perfect. And now, uh, Mo I think Moomba or was Nikita. Who's our hauler? Uh, Moomba's our hauler. He'll just sort of run around and do just that for the rest of his life. Oh, but he's growing. Okay, now, we actually don't want hay stored here. Because the pea must be stored, of course, in the balls. So, no hay there. Thank you. And no kibble either. We don't want that. What we want is actually to set up a little stockpile right over here for just those things. So hay and kibble. And we're going to put a roof on that. Doo -doo -doo. And that's where our animals can go and eat from. Uh, let's just make sure they are allowed there. Animal area. Animal area one. Yes. Okay, cool. Oh, and there's a ship chunk right there. That's free components. Let's go get that. Lovely. Maybe what you up to? Ah, you got your hats on. Okay, the so three of the hats are done. 
That's good to see. That is very good to see, in fact. Tear that up. Lovely. Can you please hold this back with you? Thank you kindly. I should have hauled the components. Those actually deteriorate. Moomba, will you come and get those components, please? Not too worried about the hay at present. Okay, that's all being built. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, no. We got gut worms. Oh, no. We got gut worms. Okay. <laughs> that sucks. So, gut worms are basically, you know, worms. Um, and they make your colonists feel pretty awful. Uh, yeah, they get a plus 20% pain. And they eat twice as much, uh, which is very annoying. And also they get the feeling sick debuff, as well as the moderate amount of pain debuff. So it's like a total of 15% off their mood, uh, which sucks. There was a bit of flaw there we couldn't access. I'll just turn that off. Okay, so red fox skin cowboy hats. The cowboy hats, I don't care if they're made out of alpaca wool or what. I really want the dusters to be made out of alpaca wool um, and not cloth, actually. So let's go ahead and say dust is no cloth. You can make it out of, no, not leathers either. You can make it out of a pack of wool, camel hair, not hyperweave, no, not synthread, not devil strand, yeah, any of the wools, really, because they all provide really good insulation. Okay, nice. Uh, some better than the others. I think, I think camel hair is the best for heat. Alpaca wool is a good middle ground. Oh, you are starving to death, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay, so let's quickly set up furniture. Let's set up a few animal sleeping spots for our pets. We have five pets now, so we're going to put up six spots. Nikita, can you please rescue Nelly, and someone will take some food to her very quickly. Uh, who's actually assigned to doctoring? Maddie B. Feeding simple meal to Nelly. Good. Okay, Nelly's about to die, so please, please do that. Yes. Okay, malnutrition was on 86%. If that got to 100, she would, of course, pass away. Okie dokes. Steel's coming in slowly, but it is coming in. Uh, what are we still building? Where's all our steel going? Fire from poppers are done, which is nice. Uh, what am I doing? Wrong button. There we go. Research screen. Okay, we can now make SMGs. And there we go. We want gas operation. That gives us chain guns, automatic guns. So it's semi-automatic and automatic guns. Okay, chain shotguns and LMGs. Don't really need that because we can now make... Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Sniper rifle. Oh, I can't do the sniper rifle yet? God damn it. How much further along is that? Is it precision rifling? I bet you are. <laughs> Assault rifles and sniper rifles. Which, in my opinion, are the two best weapons in the game. So that's what we're going to go for. We also don't have the steel for any of this just yet. So, you know, this is this is all pipe dream stuff. We should probably get turrets before we bother with, like, precision rifling or whatever. But it's fine. Pretty uneventful episode, guys. Because we're pretty much at time. Um, I'd like, like to get geothermal done today. But that's not going to happen. So, yeah, we, we we avoided a heat wave. We set up the animal spot. You know, we got some, we got some mining done. Got some bricks cut. Made a few cowboy hats. So that's fun. Now we're now we're all we can all be cowboys. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure what happened in this episode. <laughs> there wasn't anything particularly interesting, but it happened and it's done. So I think what we're going to do now is call that an episode. I'm actually going to let the game run a little bit in the background. And yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you didn't, hit that dislike button. And as always, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.